नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुद्धशील घोष एंड आई एम टीचिंग यू टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब टुडेज एक्सरसाइज इज बेस्ड ऑन द यूज ऑफ द एनालॉग इनपुट पेंस एंड द डिजिटल आउटपुट पेंस सो लेट अस गो फॉरवर्ड एंड सी सो फॉर एन एग्जांपल वी विल ट्राई टू सी हाउ द एनालॉग इनपुट पेन वर्क्स एंड देन वी विल ट्राई टू सी how we can convert the analog input pin data to the digital data and control the output so we will go for creating the circuit first of all let's see as you can see this is the working area this is the area where the components are there okay so let us bring in the breadboard first we have brought in the breadboard and then we will bring in the arduino okay fine so what has happened here now we have made the arduino available now and as we can see here these are the analog pins here okay now the analog pins and these are the digital pins the digital pins as explained earlier can be used for input as well as output but the analog pins can only be used for input so we are going to take the input from a potentiometer and then convert this input into the change for changing the brightness of a bulb or led or something like that so what we will need first is a potentiometer we will as we had explained earlier we cannot place the potentiometer here because these are all internally connected we cannot place it here so we have to place it somewhere like this okay so we have now connected the potentiometer to the breadboard what we need is first of all we need to connect the ground pin to the breadboard and we will also need the power pin which will also connect to the breadboard so the supply pin comes from here okay we can go from this side we can go from here and then we will connect it to this particular area so as a result what happens the power pin is completely connected to this particular row okay next we will connect the ground okay so the ground is connected here so we can have the ground here and we can also take the ground from here so we can just do like this so if you do like this then what will happen is that the ground will be connected to this particular row so this particular row now as per the connections contains the ground and this particular row contains the power fine the next thing that we need to do is connecting this particular terminal of the potentiometer to the ground okay so the ground is here as we can know so we will connect this particular terminal to the ground and we will connect this particular terminal to the power okay so what does it mean that at this particular point it will have ground and that when it is at this particular point it will be in contact with the power pin okay now we are going to take the input from the wiper so what we are going to do is first of all we will change the colors of all those wires which are connected to the ground so let us do that uh, okay so all the color wires which are connected to the ground we will connect it to the we will convert it to black color and all those wires which are connected to the power pins we will change it to the red color okay so this is also colored to the red uh, this is just only for aesthetics purposes and now we have to take the input from the wiper 
and the input will be taken by the A0 pin. It, any of those pins can be chosen, but we are going to take the input from the A0 pin. So here, here, and we are going to take this particular wire from here, and we'll come here, and let us arrive here, and we are going to take. And so we are going to make it some brown in color, so the brown wire is going to be the input wire for the wiper. This wire is connected to the ground and this wire is connected to the power pin. So now let us see how it behaves. So what we are going to do is we are going to read the data from this A0 and we will print it to the serial monitor. This is what we are going to do. So there you are, we will put everything into the dustbin. Let us do that. Now we are going to take an input. So read analog pin A0, that is what we are going to do. We are going to read it and we are going to print the output, whatever we get to the serial monitor. So the output is going to be printed into the serial monitor. All right. So the, we will put the serial monitor on, and as we see, when we start the simulation, what is happening is that there is no current flowing right now, and as we increase this particular place, the current is increasing. The input is increasing and as we take it to the maximum it has become the value has become 1023 now what is this 1023 incidentally 1023 is 2 to the power 10 minus 1 which basically means that my analog pin is a 10 bit input 10 bit input 2 to the power 10 is 1024 minus 1 is 1023 so this is a 10 bit input so okay what we have understood from here now is that we get a 10 bit input from the analog pins however the knowledge says knowledge tells us that this particular pins these pins digital pins they can give 8 bit output so which pins can give 8 bit output Remember, not all pins will give 8-bit output. Which pins will give you 8-bit output? Is the pulse width modulation pins will give you 8-bit output. So all those pins which are which have this delta character here. So 3, pin number 3, pin number 5, pin number 6, and then 9, 10, 11. These pins can give you 8-bit output. So let us see how we can convert this into a 8-bit output let us do that now what we are going to do is take in a bulb we are going to take a bulb from here so this is a light bulb we can do that light bulb now the light bulb is going to be taking the input one from the ground and one from the signal which is going to be generated by the Arduino okay fine so one of the terminals of the bulb shall be connected to the ground now remember which one is connected to the ground here this particular row is connected to the ground what we are going to do is take a wire from here take a wire from here and connect it to this row so as a result what happens now this particular column is connected to the ground okay so we will zoom in here so the ground is connected here and then this particular column is connected to the ground here now we have to take an output from this one of these pins 9 10 11 or 3 5 6 since 9 10 11 are proximity you know like they are near to this particular area so what we are going to do is we are going to connect this particular column to the say for example the ninth column so what we are going to do is i'm going to take from here we take a bend from here 
and okay let's do that and we are going to connect it to this particular so let us change the color to red okay so because it's signal so we'll change the color to brown okay fine so as a result we have been able to connect one of the terminals of the bulb to the ninth pin and the other terminal of the bulb is connected to the ground okay now what we are going to do is we are going to first of all because it's 8 bit remember 8 bit means that my maximum value that can be taken is 2 to the power 8 minus 1 that is 255 so somehow I have to establish a procedure that can convert my 10 bit value to a 8 bit value how can I do that now we have to use a mathematical concept called mapping so how do I do that first of all so remember we have already established the code for taking input from the potentiometer now we have to convert the input from the potentiometer into an 8 bit number once we get that 8 bit number we are going to map it to the bulb that is what we are going to do now since we have been able to take the input from the potentiometer what we are going to do we are now going to convert that number into an 8 bit number how do i do that let us do now remember this we have been able to read this analog pin okay so let us put this into the dustbin we have been able to read this analog pin now what we are going to do is create a variable first so let us go and create a variable okay so that is pot that variable i put that variable name as pot so what we are going to do is set pot to and we are going to say read analog pin all right so what we have done is we have been able to set the pot variable to read analog pin now we can play the game what game okay now here there is a map okay now here is map what we are going to do here is we are going to take the pot value and we are going to map it to the range 0 to 255 why 255 it because the maximum value that an 8 bit port can take is 255 the minimum value is 0 so whenever my data is 1023 we are going to map it to another value okay so let us do that so we are going to create another variable okay so pot 8 we'll say pot 8 okay so we have now two variables one is pot and one is pot 8 what we are going to do is we have to set the variable to now okay so how do i do that so let me see here it is map so map 0 to range 0 to 180 it is written here so what i have to do is map pot to range 0 to 255 okay and now we are going to set the variable pot 8 so we are going to set the variable pot 8 to this map all right so what we have happened what has happened is we have been able to create a mathematical transformation from 0 to 120 to 0 to 255 this is the mathematical transformation now let us see whether this mathematical transformation actually works or not so what we are going to do let us do that so initially we are going to print to the serial monitor as we can see here so we are going to print to the serial monitor first one we are going to print again we are going to print so first we are going to print the pot next we are going to print the pot 8 let us do that so first we print pot and then we print the pot 8 so what should happen whenever this minimum value is there minimum value should give me 0 0 and the maximum value when it attains maximum value it should be giving me 1023 and 255 let us see if this works or not so okay we are going to reduce this and let us see we we'll start the simulation 
and see it is at the maximum point now it is giving me 1023 and 255 now if we actually go here we come back to zero so it is all giving me zero zero and but if i increase 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 so it has giving me 1023 and 255 that is what it is giving me now what is my job now what is my job my job is to convert this spot eight you know send this spot eight to the bulb now the bulb is connected to pin number nine so what do we have to do because it is output we have to send the output so output so say here it is earlier what we are doing is high or low but now we have to send a number so we are going to say set pin 2 so which pin this is connected to pin number 9 and remember these numbers are 356 three, 9 10, 11 so these are all pwm pins only the pwm pins can take values from 0 to 255 otherwise usually high and low are acceptable so pin number 9 we are going to set it to port 8 all right so we are going to set it to port 8 and let us see what happens now okay fine so we have adjusted let us start the simulation now and you see when it is at maximum it is 1023 and 255 the bulb is at full brightness and let us as we in decrease 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 and the bulb is at zero brightness as you can see here so because the values both values are zero we are sending zero to the bulb the bulb is not going to light up so if I increase 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 okay so then it has become fully bright now somebody might ask that we have written map port to range 0 to 255 we have written that let us invert this why can't we write 255 and 20 let us see that what if we write like this we have written 255 to 0 what will happen now we'll start the simulation and let us see when it is 1023 it is sending 0 here but when it is becoming zero okay as we come to zero it is giving me full brightness so this is how we can use the map function in an arduino board to generate the or generate or control the brightness of the element like for example we have been able to connect control the brightness of the light bulb we can also try to control the brightness of the LED. Okay. So I hope you have understood this session. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. If you are an old viewer, if you are a returning viewer, please tell other people to watch my videos. Thank you for attending this session. We will stop the simulation.